Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a, a login with one password directly on your phone. So I have some other video, videos that show you how to do it when you're on a computer in the browser. But this is my phone. This is just showing you. I'm swiping around. You can't see my fingers, but this is showing you my screen. So the common example is uh, you're a one password user now. You have it all set up. It's installed on your phone and you download a new app. And you want to create uh, register and have that information in one password so you can use it again in the future or on the computer or on another device. So this is uh, Todoist. It's a free um, task manager app. It doesn't really matter. I'm just using this as an example. In this case, um, out of the three options here, I'm going to log in with email. I don't want to use Facebook or Google. And so I'm going to type in my email address. Okay, and then I'm going to continue with that email, and it's asking me, I'll just make up a name. So here, now we're at the password stage. So this is where we switch over to one password, because I don't want to just make one up off the top of my head. So I'm going to come here, and I'll open one password. It's checking out my face, and now I'm in. So this has got a list of all my logins, all the stuff that I use. But in the upper right, there's a plus sign. I'm going to tap on that. And what I want to create is a login. So when you're using the phone, you, you basically create the login before you finish uh, creating the account in the app. So I'm going to enter the login name of the app. And this is Todoist. And then I'm going to tap on that link that says create the login and so now I need to enter the username or email and I'll enter the email Oops. okay and then I'm gonna hit the blue arrow to go right which is to continue and now we're at the password stage. So one password is great for generating complicated passwords. So I'm going to tap the link that says generate new password. And it's showing me what it has generated. So it's a long kind of random string of letters and numbers. This is 20 characters long. I can slide this back and forth to make it longer or shorter. Um, and I can also um, tap here to show the recipe. If I want to add symbols or add more numbers, so it's 20 characters, but I can control um, what elements are within those 20 characters. But I'll just go back up here. I'm not, I'm, I'll just keep the default of 20 characters and do it the way they've done it. And so now I'm going to hit the arrow or click save, either one. I'm going to click save. And it says the login was saved and the password was saved into my phone's memory. So now what I do is I go back over here to the app and I paste in the password. And I sign up. And that's it. So now I'm in and usually apps have, you know, permissions you have to grant and you get started by doing some setup. But I now have the account information. So now if I go to one password again, it will show if I search to do it shows up so I can click on it and there's my email address if I tap here I can see um, the password that it's generated and I'm gonna change this later but that's the password um, and if I tap and hold on it I can copy it see that left option copy to paste it in somewhere and then um, just to close the loop on this if I go to my desktop and I open one password here, if I type Todoist, it shows up. So one password has automatically synchronized that new login information to my computer because I might want to log in from the browser on my computer one day. So that information will be here as well. And uh, there you go, that's the information. So, okay. Cool, hopefully that helps. Just remember when you're doing mobile, you have to create the login information 
in 1Password on your phone before you complete registration. It's a little bit different than how you do it if you're using your computer, um, your full computer with a browser. Okay. All right. Thanks.